Hey friends, how are you? In today's video, we are going to apply the KonMari folding method to our pants. I'm going to be walking you through step by step how to fold your pants using the KonMari style. At the same time, I will be organizing my pants drawer, which I share with my husband. So I'm going to go ahead and be applying this folding technique to all of our pants. Okay, so here's what the pant drawer looks like before organizing. And it's super messy, you can't really see everything that's in here, and it kind of just stresses me out whenever I look at it. What a difference it makes to store your items in your dresser vertically. It's super awesome. Let's go. First, you want to empty your drawer. Here I'm gathering all of my pants from my dresser and I'm putting them onto the bed. Next, sort through each item and figure out if they still fit and decide if you still like wearing them. If you answer no to either of these questions, put that item aside to donate or recycle. Now the fun part, folding the pants using the KonMari method. The end goal as you're folding is to have a rectangle that stands on its own vertically. I'll show you how this works. First, take the pants and lay them zipper side up. Next, fold over one side. Now tuck in the seat of the pants like this. Now fold the bottom of the pants up towards the waistband. It's this fold that you will use to adjust the final rectangle size. So if you find that your pants are too tall when you put them in your drawer later, you can come back and adjust this fold to make it shorter. Fold in thirds and stand upright. When done correctly, the pants will stay. Now that all your pants are folded, put them back into the drawer, organizing by color. Put the darkest colors on the left-hand side or towards the rear of the drawer. This leaves the light colors towards the front or the right-hand side of the drawer. The idea behind this is that you read from left to right or you view from top to bottom. And when you have your colors organized this way, it leaves you on the lightest and brightest colors, thus also making you feel a little lighter and a little brighter when viewing your drawer. And here's what it looks like afterwards. It's super clean and easy. Everything is stored vertically. On the right hand side, I have my husband's trousers. He likes to wear slacks. In the middle, I have my jeans, a couple pair of dress slacks. And on the left side, I have some thermals and actually a couple skirts that I folded up and put in here as well. This folding method worked good for most of these items. I will say that it's probably not good for items with really soft fabric. So my silk dress pants here, it's harder for it to stay in the Colmery fold. It would be better probably for those items to be hung. In fact, I believe that's what Marie Kondo recommends in her book is that if the material of the item is too soft and flowy, it's better for those items to be hung in a closet. But for any item that can be folded and stay upright on its own, this is a great way to organize your clothing. It's simple, it's easy, it looks great, and it makes for a more organized life. So I love it. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'm going to be bringing you more content about organization, productivity, and goals and vision in these coming weeks. I'm super excited to be sharing it with you. I will talk to you again soon.